Well, I fell down a little bit of a rabbit hole <laughs> while working on the F-16 project, and uh, I'll kind of explain what happened. I uh, was was working on uh, putting the urethane foam blocks together and found that the best thing to glue those together for the CNC mill was actually expandable urethane foam. So here's the block that I've set up. This is two inch pink stuff, uh, just Home Depot foam. And uh, you can see right here, some of the, the foam squeezed out. And I started looking at this thinking, man, that is some really durable and you know dent resistant stuff. And so then I started thinking, maybe I should try the idea of making a mold. So what I did is I created a miniature mold of the S16. And I'll go into detail on my channel about how to do this. Had that made a top half and then I made two bottom half sections that were probably a little bit too tight in here. Uh, but, but the top section worked great. And then here is a hollowed out component that I put on top of it. Well, at first I tried the expandable foam and as pretty as that white foam is, it just, it could not, it's not a castable foam. It just wouldn't work. I've tried about five or six different times. So what I did is I came up with trying this. And this is a specific casting foam. And this is six pound density, rigid casting foam. And immediately within, you, you pour it in and 15 minutes later, actually, I think they say 30 minutes, but uh, you can pull out a workable part. And it's not heavy. It is a little too brittle though. Um, so there is a three pound version that I'm going to try. Uh, but the mold went perfectly fine. This one was done on the bamboos, but I have another product that I just can't wait to show. There's a close up of what came out of the mold. And those were regular 3D printed molds. But what I wanna show you is look at this guy. Now it's not an airplane part, I get it, but the resolution on this thing is unbelievable. And this just came off a brand new AnyCubic resin printer that we just got here at Triumph Makerspace. So this is the new machine that we just printed it on, a Photon Mono M5S, and uh, got this thing just set up yesterday. And that's the print that we were able to pull off of it. The other cool feature, we got the Wash and Cure Max station because we were tired of the mess of the other one. Man, this thing is like a washing machine. You open this up. You've got the basket inside here that you put your parts down into. Close the lid. Run it through a cycle. And it runs through alcohol and it also runs through a water rinse automatically. And then of course it actually cures the parts as well. So these were just added here at the Makerspace. Pretty excited about it. So I'll be looking to make some perfect right off the printer molds for laminating or if this foam idea works out, then well, that too. Maybe I can make my own foamy planes. If you'd like to try this out, I'll throw these test molds up on my site under the F16 blog post and I'll put a link on the comments. To where you can get it. Also, if you happen to live in Dallas, I'll be teaching a resin printing class in person at the Triumph Workshop. Check the course calendar as there's still spots open and new classes coming all the time. Again, I'll post a link in the comments. And as always, if you found this rabbit hole I fell down interesting, like and subscribe or simply click here for the next video about it.